Vibes of Cosmos has published the map of Jupiter video on his channel, uh, links down below the video in the description box. Thank you Vibes of Cosmos for making things so easy to understand as always. And this is uh, Mars on Jupiter. As you know, the moon never changes. We always see the same face of the moon with the same millimetrically identical face uh, because the moon is the projection of the continents, uh, both known and forbidden, and the oceans of uh, the surface of the... Uh, well, we, and we are not allowed to go in a straight line uh, through air and ocean. And the moon and then Mars, as you know, we zoom out and there's Mars, we know where we live on Mars, Mars doesn't exist as we are being shown in movies and stuff, and then of course Mars is just a, a tiny little dot on Jupiter, and now we have to, if you go in a straight line, there's like more ocean, more lands and more continents, like NASA said, because NASA gives us certain truths, the universe is a world of waters, and of course you have water, continent from land, water, so ocean, seas, continent from land, so vibes of cosmos, what they did, uh, very simple, this is like, just like in primary school, it's so simple to understand, and um we start with Hyperborea because even though Hyperborea is not uh, the most important thing in the world, but it's the most important thing for us because we are enclosed in this system. We are forced to live here. So for Hyperborea, which is like what we call the magnetic north uh, on the typical Gleason map, we have zoom out, Europe, and this is like what we would know as the Gleason map. So all this area of dark blue is what Gleason map shows. But unfortunately, the classical fat earthers, they don't, they want to stick, they only want to stick with the classical. We are surrounded by an ice wall which is perfect circle which is a lie so as you know we don't live on a spinning ball with curved water but we don't live in a place where we are surrounded by a perfect ice wall because the antarctic treaty which is political military everything is explained um in uh, on, on in public information and in the books and everything i've shared so far uh we are not allowed to go in a straight line beyond the 60th parallel right so we zoom out this is what the moon shows so the projection of the continents and the oceans the part here in the in, in in the corner is Mordor, so where Tolkien got the map for the Lord of the Rings. And of course, we've seen Mars. We zoom out and we this is where we are on Mars. We are just a tiny fragment, a tiny bit, a tiny crater on a very huge big continent. White is firm land and blue is water uh, on a huge continent of the projection of Mars, which is the next electromagnetic layer. And I've just put the, the arrow there so that you know where we are on Mars. If you go in a straight line, but we're not allowed so many more oceans and lands, how, how many humanities and species of humans maybe even non-humans although i would just say that they're all of them are humans uh, so they have human shape they just have a different uh, dna so we are mammals they could be like humans with different type of dna but in the end just humanities um and then of course you would assume well uh, there's as you can see uh, the the white and the blue continues in a straight line yes indeed because if you if you read you see there's more white and more blue uh, on the in the books of vibes of cosmos when you zoom out in the next layer of electromagnetic magnetic field is jupiter uh, mars is just this uh, i don't have the photo right now but you've seen it in the previous videos and vibes of cosmos has shown you we just look at as a dot uh, that's like the, the type of like spot you see on jupiter that uh, nasa shows you um and uh, this is where we are and you would keep on going in a straight line and this is what the map of jupiter shows uh, there's blue and the dark blue and white and then black um considering that previously on the map of mars here it's called hellas sea uh black could be a very deep extremely deep ocean and sea so nothing to do with like that's my that's why i suppose as far as i i was able to see so if black means ocean very deep then uh we are in the map of mars like this uh, here there's more oceans there's more lands you see there's a lot of land here there's lots of white mixed with um, with blue so uh, it's not like uh, there's more water than land pretty much it's a mixture of water and land uh, and of course there's also very deep water so the black would be very deep oceans but you can see that like, here there's lots of white so lots of continents and islands lots of firm land and here there's like a bunch of white as well there's white here mixed as well so we and this is mars okay this here is Mars, it's not even us, it's Mars. We are so tiny, that's why I love it when, um, now I understand when, look at this, we are so, so here, we are just like this tiny spot here in the middle of nowhere, this, like the tip of the continent. Um, when NASA says, NASA gives us lots of truths combined with lots of, you know what? So they said in previous um, news that uh, the universe is a world of waters. Um, and that we are just a tiny dust 
in the middle of everything. Sure, imagine, like, Jupiter is this, and beyond Jupiter we have, I'm not sure of the order, Neptune, Uranus, and Saturn, or is it like Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, something like that. So if you keep on going in a straight line, how many more lands and continents and waters and stuff? Probably this is too much for people because people are so used to see the spinning balls in space with curved waters and stuff, uh, what we see in movies and CGI. And then, of course, the other part of the internet and the people are so used to only keep on sticking with the Gleason map. So uh, just shut up. There's nothing to see here. Don't speak about the moon, that it's always the same stuff. We live in a place which is surrounded by a perfect ice wall, and that's it. You see my point? So a divergence tries to be anti-hypocrite and, and realistic and honest and just go with what we know. We are not allowed. We are not allowed to go in a straight line from South Africa, from South America, from Australia. It's forbidden. So we are not even allowed to go around the supposed ice wall to see if it's actually an ice wall or there's just ways to go above water. Remember the Forbidden Documentary, remember the German books, remember what happened after 1945 until 1959 when the Antarctic Treaty was enforced, what happened with the Germans in Antarctica and the UFOs and everything else. Everything is linked. Uh, it's just divergent is super lazy and I don't want to research and investigate. So yeah, you're not lazy like me. So you, 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 you're more intelligent. You're not lazy. I'm super lazy. I'm not intelligent. So I don't know how to uh, search for information and I, 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 I'm, I'm bad at searching information and and. and and representing information and presenting the facts i'm super bad i'm lazy i i didn't go to school i only have like um like I, I was the best in in secondary school high school the first university the second university and now in january i'm going to start a master degree so i'm i'm nobody I, i'm a mr nobody i'm not intelligent i don't know how to write and to read i'm i'm a mr nobody uh, i'm in my corner here super depressed and i'm crying so i'm sorry for that uh, but yeah so it's up to you to get to the conclusions of the reality of the real world because you're far superior than i am um and that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm hoping that Vibes of Cosmo, of course, they're probably going to put something. Oh, I have to check the website. I haven't checked the website since yesterday. Uh, if they're going to put this uh, on the online shop, just like they did with the map of Mars, to get more detailed information and the uh, next videos. Uh, I'm so grateful to Vibes of Cosmo because if it wasn't for them, I would still be stuck in uh, the typical um, Gleason map, which is okay to start with to start with but once you understand what the moon is and what is beyond the moon even these days when uh, the sky was uh, very uh, empty and it was not uh, not even one cloud in sight the moon is always the same nothing changing nothing moves it's the same face with the same shape and the same continents and water uh, since I was a child and since my dad was a child and my grandfather and in the 19th century nothing has changed nothing has moved projection of the surface uh, it's and it's so awesome how vibes of cosmos explains everything um, so uh, oh yes let's do one more zoom uh, si um, fast or well, not fast uh, slowly look at the zoom And then Mars, Jupiter. It's fascinating. It is just fascinating. And gosh, if this goes on and on, then now I understand uh, all the layers of uh, the, the electromagnetism and then what the planets really are. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, my question would be if there's a limit to this, if there's actually a limit or there's even more than beyond the limit. So and what can I say? I mean, my life is so short. Uh, we live up to the age of 60 or 70 and we die so sad so try to be happy and try to stay out of debt uh, remember mortgage means debt uh, debt grip see you next time